Hello everyone and welcome back to the Class 47 Peter YouTube channel and you're joining me once again at my model railway Foxhill Junction for a model railway review video and in today's video I'm going to be taking a look at the all new Hornby Class 87 in Virgin Trains livery and I've been really looking forward to this one Now this model was released just over a week now. I've had this model on pre-order for a while and it's something I've been very much looking forward to for quite a while since this was first announced by Hornby. And I was really excited when it had arrived in stock at Rails of Sheffield and I was just jump for joy when it arrived in the post to me. This is the exact sort of livery that I saw when I was a kid in the early 2000s, around the late 90s as well when I saw this livery on 87s, 47s, 86s, 90s, HSTs, DVTs and the Mark 3s and Mark 2s I already have the Class 87 in, in the Intercity Swallow livery and now I own it in the Virgin Trains livery so now they have both liveries it means that I can have the opportunity to run both the Virgin 87 and the Intercity 87 running on the the passenger services that they would have run on the West Coast Main Line and so that's just an absolute joy to be able to have them on my layout upon removal of the outer box sleeve we can see that the model comes in the plastic ice cube packaging that most manufacturers are using now. With the packaging removed from the tray of the box we have the instruction manual for the Class 87. I already have one of these like I say I have the Intercity Swallow Class 87 as well but I still tend to keep the other instruction manual even if I already have one because you know you've then got a spare should you lose the other. I'm not going to bore you by reading all through this because it's all the same stuff we've seen before but I'll put that to one side and that'll go in my folder where I keep all my instruction manuals later then once we've removed the outer plastic sleeve of the packaging we have two little accessory bags so first of all we have this little bag that comes with two nameplates for the loco they're not etched they are just plastic with the names printed onto them but that's not really going to be a problem because I'm not going to really put these on the loco anyway you can if you want to or you could find some etched ones which I'm sure you can find from from somewhere but even if they are just printed onto a piece of plastic they still look quite nice in their own little way then we have the accessory bag which we have the couplings and the air pipes etc which I shall be fitting these on later on so with the model now unboxed we now come on to the thing that we're all here for the model itself and I have to say this model is gorgeous it, this model shows that Hornby do make some stunning models and this model is I think a shining example of that. It really is a stunning model. Moving on to the detail we have sprung metal buffers as you can see. Moving on to the front of the loco we have a grab rail at the top there which is separately fitted as well as separately fitted handrails there which the grab rail and the handrails at the front are painted white. There is some rivet detail there as well on the front. This model also has working lights, which you'll see later on. We've also got the warning stickers, as well as the jumper cables and the 36-wire jumpers. You've got the covers there, 
which has some very nice detail on those and you've also got a separately fitted lamp iron as well you've also got separately fitted window wipers and just look at how thin they are I mean they look superb there's glazing in all of the windows and also we have the cab interior detail there which does look really nice there's a lot of rivet detail on the body sides as you can see running all the way along where the grills are and speaking of the grills I just love the finish on them you know it gives the way they've been done it gives them a real grill effect and I love the feel of them as well which is always nice to see on a model of course we cannot leave out the underframe detail you've got the footsteps separately fitted as well as the springs and the axle boxes and the pipe work on the bogies which is separately fitted but also it's been painted as well which looks fantastic you've got some more separately fitted detail as well just under here and again that's painted as well which looks fantastic the livery is absolutely gorgeous the application on the livery is spot on the colours are correct the red and the black or red and grey as it's also known as and you've also got the Loco's ruin numbers 87019 crisply printed as well as well as the white stripes running all along the bottom there and the Virgin logos and they are crispy printed as well so it's a very nice even coat of paint no errors in the paintwork anywhere at all and it's just an absolute spot on finish there's also a wealth of detail on the roof of the loco you've got these air tanks which is I believe what they are fitted on the model you've even got this pipework as well you can see that runs just to the sides of them and at the front of along there on top of the roof which looks fantastic there's also some rivet detail on the roof as well and all these separately fitted detail parts along here it's all painted even that bit of detail there you've even got these separately fitted handrails there on top of that roof vent that's on both of those on top of the roof even these little bits of detail here are separately fitted and they look superb and even the roof box there on the top that has some rivet detail on we can't leave out the pantograph on the model which is very well detailed and this is a manual one which I'll just demonstrate just now I mean you do have to be careful with this it goes without saying because it the pantograph just clips on in place so it can come off quite easily but it is very well detailed like I say and that looks exquisite and on the other side of the loco one other bit of detail that I love is that through the windows on this side of the loco you can see the detail on the inside of the loco you've got these cabinets inside as you can see and that's a fantastic bit of detail to have that is and that looks really stunning now we come to the running performance for the class 87 and as you can see she runs beautifully that is really really smooth there's no horrible grinding noises or motors burning out runs exactly as, as it should do straight from the box and it's also a really quiet mechanism as well that really really impressed with that stunning
This model does have working lights, so it's those two bottom lights that light up white. And at the rear of the loco, it's the two top lights that light up red. And the model's going away from you. It is also worth mentioning that there is a switch under the bottom of this loco to control the lights. There's a nighttime and daytime setting for the lights. At the moment, you can see it's on daytime. And also, just look at that mesh grill effect there on that detail. That looks superb. Now we come to the loaded test run, and we have the Class 87 with the matching Virgin trains, Mark 3s and DVT. And this is the exact sort of train that I would have seen a lot of when I was a lad. And to be able to have a train like this on the layout, you know, it really is a pleasure. It really does make me happy. There's four Mark 3s there, plus DVT, but I will be getting a fifth Mark 3 to extend the rake. So that brings me on to my overall verdict for the model. So, what do I think of it? This model is perfection. It really is a stunning model. Top notch and superb paint job. Beautifully running performance and all the amount of stunning detail that's gone into this model. What more could you possibly want? I think that this is one of Hornby's best models that they've made. And it's definitely well worth the money. So I'd definitely recommend that you get yourself one of these. And I have fell in love with this model. It really is gorgeous. And I can't fault it. So, well done Hornby. You deserve a pat on the back for making this model. So that brings us to the end of this review video of the superb Hornby Class 87 in Virgin Trains livery from Hornby. Do feel free to drop a comment in the description if you like. Well, in the comments box should say rather, tell me what you think of this model or whether you plan to get this model or not. I would be interested to hear that. And also drop a like as well and subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. And feel free to check out all my other content I have on this channel. But thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this review. I'll see you again next time for the next review. But until then, take care.